back once again for another video about how to do a ghillie wrap. So tonight we're going to be looking at this Cronus and we're going to be putting this ghillie wrap on it right here. This one is inspired on Mr. Dark's camouflage on a green palette, obviously. We're also going to be incorporating some like dead foliage as well as perhaps a bit of accent. First thing you want to do is take your ghillie wrap and either do one of two things. Either cut down right here, about a third into the fabric, all the way down, and another cut on the opposing third, all the way down. Or if you want a longer look, you want to cut right on the middle, all the way down. Everything you cut off and that falls off the ghillie wrap, you'll want to save. We're going to incorporate everything. For this one, I specifically had the idea to cut it in the thirds, so I'm going to do that now. You can make the process a bit faster by, of course, folding it in half if you have a good pair of scissors. Now that we've cut our pieces, we're ready to prep each piece to go around the chromos. These ends are your strongest pieces, so let's save those till last. The middle section I've made notably a bit wider, just to cover more area on the chromos. So let's prep this one first. And start taking all the burlap apart, just like this. Come on in nice and close. You're gonna to wanna to save all of this. This is still all useful. You want this sort of frayed end to give it the effect of natural foliage. And where you should start is up to you. I always like to start from the back, working my way to the front. You may also want to pick a different spot, like here, we're picking the edge of this rail. Start to wrap it around the marker. Oh, make sure it keeps taut or else it'll come off. Go on and go right over top of the piece we did before. And now we're gonna work our way back to the butt of the marker. You can vary your coverage as much as you want or as little as you want. Kind of depends on how you like to play. Now, we can't cover the bolt handle. We can't cover, as I mentioned, the screw, safety, trigger, trigger guard, grip. That all pretty much has to be clear. And if I follow it over, depending on the angle I choose, should be out of the way. Yep. And in case you guys are wondering, this piece right here is what my niece gave me because she said from her four-year-old four -year heart that this would protect me. So watch out, boys. Watch out, ladies. All right, bringing in close, I wanted to show you how to finish tying this off. When you get to about this length, Make a loop and then make a knot out of that loop. And then continue tying right around just like you were. This is gonna be where you tie off from. There's the loop. Now you put this end in the loop, pull it through and that's gonna tighten on itself. So right now I'm just adding a bit of an accent around the flashlight, just uh, something to look like a bit of dead grass. And we're done with that. Let's move on to the barrel and the hopper. Okay, so first things first, I want this 
base layer to be you know what you could see at the base of a forest okay I'm going to tie that off using our greens So now we're moving to the more heavy line, okay? And we're just going to wrap that around. We're gonna be doing this a lot. Try to wrap it so that these edges want to flare out and change as they move over the sides. So here it is, the hopper, after it's all gilly wrapped. Anyway, we're gonna move on to the barrel. So you don't want these to go in the muzzle brake, okay? Or anywhere in around there for the relief. So what you wanna do is you're just gonna fold this down on top of itself to where the slots are and wrap it around, get it nice and tight in there. Make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. And then go back down the barrel the other way. When you get back to the other end, just keep in mind, don't get it over any of the threads here. So if it's going over top of those, just again, fold it back or stop your, your twining here. And that way, when you thread it in, it'll just fold up onto itself. Keep that clear is the idea. So we're coming to the end with the camouflage barrel. We decided to use a light color, give it a bit of an accent. All we're going to do is add the last strand to the end. Now, this is important, okay? Take the two strands, cross them over, okay? You're basically, I forget what kind of knot this is, might add it in post, but after making this arrangement, take the one in this hand, cross it over, put it through the hole, and pull, and then pull the two ends, and that shouldn't move. If, if you did it right, that shouldn't move. So, keep these two up. Don't lose them in the fray as you wind this barrel. Just keep it close to that point. And that's what you're gonna tie off to again, right there. Don't mind me, I'm just adding some finishing touches to this ghillie wrap. 